This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and you're welcome to the biggest entertainment show you could, you should get used to, where we analyze and dissect the trending entertainment stories. My name is Ifeo Lua Oshunke, and I've got my co-anchors with me, the super intelligent Ewa Ritu, the eloquent yet controversial Beniak. Wagwan. But good. Mm. How are you? I got it right this time, right? Oh, I need to explain controversial again. <laughs> <laughs> This, this guy made it's me. Fine. He made me explain politically correct this morning. So, <laughs> how you doing, man? How you guys doing? Great. Hey, what's going on? Show. Mm. Missed you in the morning. We missed Aww. you. We missed you. I'm back. Yeah, Blow us a kiss. Blow us a kiss. Okay. Are we good? <laughs> I feel. Why are you putting it there now? No. That's personal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. so Shadawale claims he got a Nigerian passport with a work permit. It would be recalled that the controversial singer called his home country Ghana a village a few days back after Ghanaian celebrities called out Kadi B for a no-show at a scheduled mate's end greet. Mm. <laughs> so, first of all, this is impossible. You can't get a Nigerian passport with um, a work permit. So obviously he's joking about this. And he had the old laughing emoji all around it. So mm. um, so what's your take on this one? I mean, I will not take him serious on this one at all. Who, who, who takes Shatawali serious in the first place? But then, I think this is just a joke. As Like you rightly said, it's not possible. And Shatawali's loyalty does not lie with any country or yeah. anybody. Today he can insult Nigeria, tomorrow he insults Ghana, next tomorrow he's... His loyalty doesn't lie I'm with anyone. Anyone at all, you get so... I'm not, I mean, this is just and a joke. And he's very proud as well. Mm, very, <laughs> very. Because <laughs> in that same video, he had to just show off his Ferrari, like three Range Rovers, his G-Wagon, and, and I'm like, bro. So you know he's not coming to it was Nigeria telling, broke was telling, now. <laughs> but I like the fact that he was honest about it when he said, um, or he was real about it when he said, Cardi B doesn't know any like, Ghanaian celebrity, including himself. So he called out himself too. So I like that part about him. But obviously, Cardi B must have heard a thing or two about, obviously, Obviously, yeah, she knows David Doe, they have a song together, mm. Whiskey, but I don't think she would know any Ghanaian celebrity. And then I don't know if you guys have seen the new Cardi B video where she was singing, This Life I Can't Keep Myself. Yeah. She made us really <laughs> proud. Really, really proud. So we'll give her a name, Choma B. Why are you you're just smiling <laughs> on the way? Talk. I'm just wondering why we're taking Shatawali. Why Shatawali is actually a subject of discussion right now on the table. Um, I can't take him seriously. He, I mean, you can't get a Nigerian passport through or, or work with me. It's not possible. I uh, think he was just, in a way, I don't feel he's a sub. He's actually subbing us. You know what I mean? Proud Niger, you know I said proud Niger boy. Mm. I said sarcasm. I said sarcasm. I mean, I said sarcasm in that statement. I'm sorry. In that tweet, I said sarcasm. No, no. I said sarcasm. I, I really no, don't think he was being One thing sarcastic. for sure. It, okay, are you saying he was being sarcastic when he called his country a village as well? Because he made he made it clear from the onset that he wasn't going to be at the meet and greet. You understand? Mm. And then he was laughing at everyone who showed up for the meeting. He was even laughing at them that you dress like you did go church. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing, like, why are you even there? And then you have it's to Shatawale, wait for Shatawale, he would jump on anything for the controversy, for the spotlight to be on him. It's Shatawale we're talking about. I mean, about that, that was so. actually what came to my mind when I saw yeah. it. Like, he was probably just saying this because he looks like he people will pick on That's it. it and he people wants, will talk. He wants to trend. But should, he doesn't mind trolls coming after him. It's mm -hmm. Shatawale, he doesn't care. Mm. Okay, well, what if Shatawale does not his, have a passport, yeah, but he wants to move to Nigeria? That's, that's, no, Nigeria. but I think I think he likes to associate with Nigeria because um, whenever Bona Boy is in Ghana, I'm sure Bona Boy stays with Shatawale. Oh, okay. You I'm get, sorry, the I biggest, mean, there's even, I'm sorry. I, I don't think there's any problem. He might just want to even move the to biggest, Nigeria. The biggest, because, artist, the biggest artist in the continent are from Nigeria, so if he doesn't want to associate with Nigeria... Yeah, that's, so that's why I don't I'm sense sorry, man. I mean, the this. biggest artist in the continent... Uh, that's from why a Nigerian, sense, that's so why I don't sense sarcasm in this. I think he's, he's, he's not Shatawale. He's Shatawale. He's corny and cocky like that. Well, no. true that. <laughs> <laughs> true that. You can't vouch for Shatawale. I, I already said it. I'm for you. Shatawale. He holds nobody nothing. He yeah, will say it as it is. Not loyal to anyone, he's not loyal to anyone. He's not Well, mm -hmm. we, we still love him all the same. All right, so it's time for a break, but we've got a studio guest. Do not go anywhere. 
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. Oh, <laughs> plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs>back and thank you for staying with us moving on our guest on this episode is someone who loves the entertainment industry and has been organizing events since he was in secondary school he founded the lagos urban fashion show in 2017 after he discovered there was a new wave of young nigerian and african designers with a new kind of design which is streetwear fashion also the lagos urban fashion show is africa's first streetwear themed show and it showcases emerging designers and their collections to retailers buyers fashion enthusiasts and the media he has had two successful editions, sold out shows, and the theme for the third edition, Lagos Urban Fashion Show 2019, is disruptive fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only Wally I know. Welcome to the show. Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, so my first question will be, what does yes. fashion mean to you? And if you have to describe fashion using a color, yes. what color would it be and why? Um, you have to describe fashion using the color, it would have to be black. Why? Because black is actually easy, like you just put on black and get matched with everything that you get to put on. They had to select what you have to wear, the colors you have to wear. So black goes with everything, so if you have to pick a color, it would have to be black. Okay, so what does yes. fashion mean to you? <clears throat> fashion is, um, I think fashion is actually the way you feel, you stand, the way you feel inside. You could tend to show people with the clothing that you wear. Okay. Yeah, so that's where I just see it. I think that's what fashion means to me. Okay. okay, so your forte is streetwear, right? Yes, so yes, yes. Why yes. streetwear? And what's the difference between streetwear and the uh, Western dressing? What's the difference? Um, I would say actually streetwear is actually the kind of fashion that generates from the streets, like the very, not like streetwear, like maybe young people, that's with younger audience like what young people so wear. old people can wear streetwear maybe an old person that's been wearing streetwear from a young age mm. you get so, so i can so my dad can decide to switch to streetwear now streetwear has to do with style mm. you get it has to be style you can't just switch to streetwear it has to be something you've been doing like from a young age probably the person gets old and still wearing streetwear and all that, so it has it's, it's quite different because it could relate to hip hop music. It gets mm. streetwear and hip hop music can't go together. All right. So, yes. Okay, so let's talk about your show. Okay. Has it been? Why did you decide to start this event? And okay. just talk about it, please. Okay, so actually, I after the university, so I actually had this um, um, interest in fashion. So I actually attended the uh, much bigger fashion shows in Nigeria. So when I attended these shows, I found out that they were not really showcasing real designs that young millennials in Nigeria wear at this time. Mm. So they were mostly designs that the normal, traditional wears and all that. Mm. So <clears throat> I actually wanted to start a platform where young people, young emerging um, designers can actually showcase um, the kind of brands that are trending right now mm. between like ages, I am just a Nigerian young people from the age between 16 to 27, 28, and the likes. Mm. So, actually, thought of okay, and I noticed that there were lots of emerging brands that did not have any platform mm. because these much bigger um, platforms may not give them that chance, opportunity. Mm. So, I came up with the idea of starting up something that streetwear fashion, not necessarily just streetwear, streetwear and imaging um, brands could just showcase their creativity. Okay. 
So what brand would you say you have given a platform to and the person yes. is really big right now and you're grateful? <laughs> okay. I would actually say a, there's a brand actually it's called um, maybe on Instagram if you check um, the Drink Shop. Mm. Actually, they, they showcased in the first edition, they showcased in the second edition. So right now they even have a collaboration with the brand, an international brand, to be showcasing on this third edition. What do they call it? Drink. The Drake, the Drake oh, show. Okay. That's the Instagram handle. Oh. But the name of the brand is Drake, Drake, D R I K. Owned by, owned by a lady or a guy? No, no, two guys. Two They're guys. partners. Two yeah. guys. So I would say <clears throat> they've actually they've had collaborations with a, a, a whole lot of international brands, drink brands, a whole lot of brands that at when we just started the first edition, they didn't have that kind of opportunity. They showcased. Um, they've, they've they've had so many. I think how like put it. They've had so many collaborations, collaborations with big brands since after the show, and I think they are big now, and they are right. making money, which is very important. So, All right, this year's um, yeah. um, Lagos Urban Fashion Show, who are okay. we looking at saying? Who are the people coming around? Okay, in terms of the designers. Yeah, the designers. Who are designers coming through? And the entertainers as well. Okay, entertainers. Maybe because um, we have lots of celebrities, influencers, young influencers between that audience mm. that we are trying um, to that are coming to the show. Mm. And we don't necessarily have the budget to get the whole lot of celebrities to attend the event. But we actually have... Um, Let's focus on the, the designers. On coming. the designers, yes. okay. Mm. Um, we have um, about 12 brands that we're okay. coming on. We have, like I said, we have the Jig Shop, we have Iron Adonis, we have um, Shade of Grey, we have, um, I, I can actually, we have Boggy Urban, we have Max Steel 69, we have um, a, about 12 of them. 12 of them, so we have 12 coming, designers yeah, coming yeah, so out of young, um, the Lagos Urban Fashion Show yes. for 20. 19. Yes, exactly. Now, what's the demographic? Because when I when I hear street when I wear when I hear street wears, okay. I think raggedy. I, I think <laughs> you know ripped. I, I think yeah, yes. that, that's what comes to my mind. I mean, okay. I might be wrong. I stand to be corrected. So, okay. what's the demographic for for the street wears? Is there an okay. age limit? There's got definitely a demographic. People who yes. fall between these people can wear yes. the street wears. And yes. all the twelve designers are they also into street wears? Yes, all the twelve designers are into streetwear oh, wow. and I'll say streetwear street, street has evolved <clears throat> you get so streetwear now you could actually be stylish and actually have that streetwear um, fashion it's not just what, what informs what makes what makes what makes a, a design street wear. street wow. okay I'll say it's, it's not necessarily the design it's the way you wear the design do you, you see any streetwear on this table <laughs> Okay, okay. This would have been streetwear, like your t-shirts. Okay. So. But I won't call it streetwear because um, the complete outfit, the, your complete outfit is no streetwear. Okay, so what could have made it streetwear? Yeah, okay, exactly. probably if you're wearing the sneakers, okay. you had some accessories like chains, you get, you have, you have rings on. Mufflers around my neck. I mean, the, the no, not necessarily. So that's why I asked you at first. <laughs> yes. now, what's the Muffler. difference between streetwear and yes. the Western dressing? Because okay, it's um, almost like you're saying the same thing. Um, it, it, the, the kind of streetwear we are trying to showcase is not necessarily the Westernized kind of streetwear. There's this African-inspired streetwear. African inspired. Does our, tech, does, our tech side, does our tech side come to play? The, our, our materials, African. Um, yes, there, there, are some brands, there are some brands that blend, like Ayan Adonis, he blends African prints or African designs or African inspired designs with streetwear. So it's not necessarily mm. just um, streetwear. So there's, there's this Af African inspiration or behind most of the designs that we're trying to showcase. Okay, because, now, yeah. you're the brain behind the Lagos yes. Urban Fashion Show, yes. right? And yes. this is your third or this second third, third 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 edition. edition. Third edition. Yes. Tell us how successful. Has, has, it, has it surpassed your expectation? Yes, it, it has a lot because okay. if I want to compare the first edition and now, I'll say the first edition because I actually came out with this idea. There was no much funding. But we just started. I had a group of friends who came together. We planned the show. We used some of the biggest venues in Lagos and all that. So I'll say <clears throat> there, there has been progress in terms of funding, and there has been progress in terms of how popular the show has become. Mm. So then, and, and I'll say, because after my show, Lagos Urban Fashion Show, a whole lot of shows came up after. 
there were other shows that you know that they are trying to get to that same audience. Mm. So I would say mm. they have inspired other states in Nigeria. I've actually started, for instance, these states, let's say, or your state's urban fashion show. You get, oh, for instance, mm. that's, that's just yeah. an instance you get. So I would say they have inspired a whole lot of people, and I've tried to put that focus in Nigeria that there's, there's a new wave of designers that are upcoming, but they are different. You get, because in, in our culture, it's actually very hard to be different down here. So we are just trying to promote that, um, that you, okay, you can actually be different, you wear different kind of clothes. When people see you in typical Nigerian setting, and they say, oh, this one is wearing different clothes, you get, you can be different and still, and still right, get So in. before we round up, I just want you to just um, shed light on this. When is this event coming up? Where yes. and what yes. time and all of that? Just give us the basic information okay. about the show. Okay, so actually the third edition mm. will be holding on the 14th of December, this Saturday. So actually, it should commence from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. So the venue is in the Lekki Coliseum. Is that Lekki Phase One? Is it free? No, not necessarily. It's that's not on, free. Lekki Coliseum. That's on Providence. Providence, yeah, Providence Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it's off Admiralty Way. So you're saying it's, it's not free? Just right after the gate, it's, you make a right turn right straight turn. down that road. Exactly. It's Providence exactly. Street. Exactly. Exactly. So it, it's not necessarily free, but mm. it gets very, very affordable. Very when you say affordable, how much? It's just $2,000. Okay. get the ticket? Yeah, you could actually get it on afriticket.com. Quickly, right? Or you go to our Instagram page. The, the link is on... What's on your Instagram Empire, page? Um, at Lagos Urban Fashion Show. Okay, can you quickly, in just like 60 seconds, run us through the activity to, for that day? Okay. What people should expect? Okay, so actually, um, this is just basically... There's, there's going to be a red carpet session mm -hmm. from 3 p.m. down. People get to take pictures of the paparazzi, media, press, and all that, to take pictures outside. Then there's also going to be an exhibition so people will be selling their fashion wares, some people selling their products, food, beverages, and all that. Mm. So after the exhibition, then the main show, so there'll be various runway showcases. We have a, a whole lot of collaborations with brands that will be working together, try to showcase, try to mix even music and fashion together. So after that, so it's basically just the fashion showcase until the end. All right, so Beautiful. sadly, we have to draw the curtains on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, and mm -hmm. the entire production team, and also our studio guest, Wally Aino. Yes, I am Ifeolu Alshinkaya saying thank you for watching and stay blessed.